Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing the leaked set listings for Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 2, otherwise known as the Ninjago Dragons Rising set list for the winter of 2024. And one thing in particular regarding the set list that so many people are talking about is the overabundance of mechs in this set wave, because there are a lot of them. Now, normally we do get a couple of Ninjago mechs per wave, some waves have more mechs than others, but this new wave for Ninjago 2024 has broken the record for the most amount of mechs included in a single set wave. Just going down the list, we have Eren's Battle Mech, Jay's Battle Mech, Cole's Earth Mech, Sora's Tech Mech, Kai's Fire Mech, and Kai's Ninja Climbing Mech, with Kai getting two mechs here as opposed to the other ninja. And really quickly, I just want to give my thoughts on this situation and maybe discuss what exactly could be going on in Dragon's Rising Season 2 that would warrant all of these mechs. First of all, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, I am a huge fan of LEGO mechs, especially Ninjago mechs. There have been several great designs over the years, however, with that being said, I find myself not really excited for this new wave of sets because there are so many mechs. As a result of this, I feel like some of these mechs will most definitely suffer, and some will probably not be as impressive as some previous Ninjago mechs that we've seen in prior waves. Most of these mechs appear to be fairly small, so I feel like we're just going to be going back to more of the Ninjago core style mechs, and I have no doubts that LEGO will still continue to use that construction system with these Ninjago mechs as well, meaning that these things are probably going to be very repetitive, not only in the sense that they will be rather similar to each other, but also they probably will be very similar to some previous Ninjago mechs that we saw from Ninjago Core. At least that's just what I'm assuming based on the fact that we have so many of them and a lot of them are fairly small. The larger ones I am more so looking forward to, like Kai's Ninja Climbing Mech. That sounds like it could be super cool and super unique. With that being said, all of these mechs might be rather unique and maybe they won't be as repetitive as I think, but as of right now they just sound super repetitive just given the set names and of course given the prices as well. Same deal with the piece counts. Now moving on from that discussion, what exactly is the reason for there to be so many mechs in this wave for Ninjago Dragons Rising? In terms of a story, maybe they are constantly using Sora's technology power. Maybe her power has grown so extensive that she can make mechs for everybody at will, whether it be to fight Imperium or some type of larger threat that we have yet to meet. Honestly, for a story perspective, it's kind of hard to pin down because in the past, Ninjago mechs have been used as simple vehicles. There wasn't really any significance to them most of the time, but with Dragons Rising and Sora's technology power, I feel like she's definitely responsible for the construction of a lot of these mechs. Obviously, all we have right now is a set list, so it's kind of hard to nail down a story-specific reason as to why there are so many mechs but feel free to let me know down below in the comments what you think about all of this. What do you feel like is the reason as to why there are so many mechs this wave for Ninjago Dragons Rising, and are you personally a fan of there being so many mechs? Leave all your thoughts down below, and hopefully you enjoyed today's video. That'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. If you guys enjoyed today's video, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.